Electricity is a naturally occurring phenomenon that results from the movement of electrons from an area where there is a surplus of electrons to an area where there is a relative lack of electrons. Electrons are a part of the basic element of matter, the atom. An atom is made up of a core or nucleus that has positively charged protons and neutrally charged neutrons. The negatively charged electrons orbit the nucleus in layers of rings called shells. Balanced atoms have an equal number of protons and electrons. The electrons of the outer shell and conductive materials can be made to move to atoms with a more positive charge when a force is applied to them. These electrons are called free electrons. As the free electrons leave the outer shell of one atom for another, that atom becomes unbalanced or positively charged. This positive charge creates a potential that attracts electrons to move through a conductor. Voltage is the measure of the difference in potential between an area with an excess of free electrons and an area with a lack of free electrons. Because the voltage potential causes the electrons to flow along a path, voltage is often referred to as electromotive force. The rate at which the electrons flow is called current. Current can be measured in amperes, which is a count of the number of electrons that pass a given point in one second. The path that the current flows through in automotive systems is a circuit. For current to flow, the path must be a good conductor. Good conductors, such as copper, silver, and gold, have one electron on the outer shell that can be easily moved through electromotive force. Moreover, for current to flow, the path or circuit must be complete, from the area of high positive potential to the area with less positive potential or negative side of the circuit. As current flows through a circuit, it encounters resistance that opposes the free flow of electrons. Resistance can be in the form of the air between the atoms, it can be a change from a larger path to a smaller one, or it can be in the form of a load in the circuit that consumes voltage. A potential must be present to cause current to flow. In an automotive system, the pressure comes from the battery which produces a constantly positive or direct current by a chemical reaction. Potential can also be produced by the alternator that generates a current that alternates between positive and negative and back to positive. To be usable in an automotive system, the alternating current is converted to direct current. To understand electricity, it helps to think in terms of something you can visualize. In simple terms, this train set is like an automotive circuit. Electricity can only flow in a continuous loop, much like these trained cars going around this track. 